Hello everyone, Jerry Smith here to Blockade Runner. Today's video is in response to a question we've received from one of our friends in Kansas. Bob writes, Jerry, I'm noticing in a lot of the old camp photographs that officers' tents will often have a fly draped over the top. Why is that? Well, Bob, that's a great question. And even though waterproofing has been around for eons in one form or another, mostly coating cotton or flax with oils or beeswax or a combination of the two, during the American Civil War, the Army used plain old cotton duck. It was cheaper and much lighter. A tent treated with beeswax and linseed oil weighs almost twice as much as one made from plain cotton duck. Now the downfall of using untreated cotton is it leaks a lot. That's why in those old photos, you see the tents and flies are set up at such a steep angle. The steeper the angle, the less it leaks. Much like a thatched roof on an old 16th century English cottage, Water follows the least path of resistance, so the roofs have to be on a very steep angle to work properly. So what can we do to improve this system? Why add another layer of material between us and the elements? And so, the fly over the tent was born. Now that we have such great canvas like the new 10.3 ounce fire retarded water repellent duck, rain isn't such a big deal for us. So why go to all the bother of putting a fly over a tent? Well, I can think of a couple of good reasons. For one, a fly over a tent is like setting up in the shade everywhere you go. And what's that going to be worth on a hot summer's day? 15, 20 degrees? That's well worth the price of admission right there. And how about when you're at an event and it rains off and on all weekend? I think we've all been there. Well, if you get a little break in the weather, you can tear your tent down and pack it up and the only thing that's really going to be wet is that fly. Now when you get home, it's a lot easier to find a place to stretch that fly out rather than a wall tent, don't you think? And even though the average life of a well cared for blockade runner tent is around 15 to 20 years, adding a fly over the tent is going to catch a lot of those UV rays. And everybody knows that UV is the enemy of just about everything man made. So by adding a fly, you're adding years to the life of your tent. And flies are cheaper than tents. Now there are a couple of different ways that we can set this rig up. But both require the first step to be getting the fly over the tent. Here's the easiest way. Recruit a friend or acquaintance or dupe some poor innocent bystander into helping you. Take a couple of sticks or tent poles even better. Stick those pins through the grommets on the end of your fly and just walk that fly right over the top. Now, just even it out like you were straightening out a blanket on a bed. Now we're ready to attach our ropes. Put the loop ends of the rope through the grommets and place a small stick through the rope loop and pull them back tight. Now, stretch the ropes out to near their maximum length and drive your stakes in accordingly. Now put the ropes over the stakes and tighten gently. Go all the way around the tent. Now it's going to take a few minutes for those ropes and the tent fly to relax, so you're going to have to repeat this step several times. Now, this setup requires a 10 by 15 foot fly, 10 long ropes, 10 stakes, and 10 small sticks. Now that won't add very much weight, nor does it take up a lot of space in your overall kit. So there are some advantages to using it like this. Notice how much space there is between the tent and our fly. Now that's not a great deal, but it's still gonna offer you quite a bit of protection. More space would be better. So is there a way to improve this setup? I think so, let's take a look. We simply add 10 sidewall poles, five on each side, and then stake your ropes down just as you normally would. But using the sidewall poles, you get to stake much closer to your tent and use a shorter rope. Actually, this will only take up about the same footprint as it normally would if you were just using the wall tent itself. It will reduce the size, the footprint that is, of the tent down to about 16 or 18 foot. So, if you've got room for a wall tent, you've got room for a wall tent to fly. The disadvantage? It's going to add 10 more sidewalk poles to your overall setup. Not too much, but it all depends. You know, if it's mid-August, I think it might be worth it. That's about all there is to it, boys and girls. Now remember, the most important thing about caring for your tent is to never put it up until it's completely dry. Don't over-tighten your ropes, and always loosen those ropes a little bit when the sun goes down and avoid tornadoes wherever possible. Been there, done that. 
All right, well, thanks so much for joining us. And come back and see us here at the Blockade Runner.